Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com for this week's AT&T T-Mobile GTN 7105 Canadian and Verizon uh, Note 2 I've got here uh, ROM of the week. Check out the latest version of Jedi X17 ROM. Uh, it is better than ever. Now it uses one ROM uh, to install for all those different carriers. Um, so there's no mix-up. It's all included uh, in one ROM zip file. Now I will go over some of the changes with the previous versions and then I'll go into all of the other details for those of you who've never seen um, this ROM before. Uh, for those of you coming from previous versions, the latest version has an option for Android 4.3 camera uh, which works flawless out of the box um, so you can get it recording uh, with the Android 4.3 camera also with the latest uh, photosphere working flawless. So you do not have to worry, it's working out of the box and also the gallery, two galleries are uh, working out of the box also, Android 4.3 gallery. And there's slight lag because I just uh, installed a new theme and cleared the uh, cache, so that's why there's lag. But there's actually no lag once you start using it. And also no two camera, um, nice, right? So you get two cameras uh, nowadays. And uh, it does come with a bunch of different themes, and this is the Deviant Jedi uh, theme. It's kind of cool. You got that guy, and it kind of switches quickly to the app drawer. Uh, pretty cool stuff, and you got a bunch of more Jedi icons here for everything. Um, so very nice. Also does come with the latest version of uh, Saber Kernel, which is super nice. Sorry, I'm getting confused with that that guy, uh, that logo there. Saber Kernel has been updated. Now the latest version is faster than ever. It is so fast, you'll not know it's TouchWiz. The coolest part about this ROM is that um, it is so fast and you got the nice continuous motion there. And look at the app drawer. Look at how smooth it is. There's absolutely no lag. You would not believe this is TouchWiz. Look at that, I could do this all day. Hit the home button, um, you know, it is fast. Definitely, this ROM makes it fun to use TouchWiz again. And this is the uh, custom theme, so it comes with its own drop-down menu. It's got its own uh, saber, lightsaber uh, X there, you saw that, and uh, pretty cool. If you're, if you're into Star Wars, you're going to love it. I'm not really into Star Wars, but I, I like it. Um, now I'm going to go over some of the stuff um, that's, you know, that's been there before. Um, so for those of you who are just upgrading, you can probably just go ahead and upgrade now. It is awesome. Uh, for those of you new to this ROM, uh, you know, the coolest thing you'll find is the two cameras and also two audio apps, Awesome Beats. You can go ahead and, and uh, you know, customize, tweak your sound uh, with the equalizer there. And also you can go ahead and use Voodoo Sound, which is also additional uh, audio app you can mess with uh, to tweak your sound. It is awesome. Um, other than that, you get uh, Jedi ROM tricks here, which gives you uh, ability to change your toggles. Up here, all of these toggles. You can add more toggles up to 23, change the order, um, do all that good stuff. Uh, you can get custom ink effects in your lock screen if you want, and that will give you uh, nice ink effects, right? And also, keyboard switcher. I don't really use that, but um, it can help if you use the S Pen and switch between the keyboard often. And also, Pi LMT Pi controls. Uh, if you want LMT Pi control uh, hovering over, um, also, I do have a full uh, tutorial on this, so I'm not going to go over it, but basically that all that good stuff there. Um, but you can watch my tutorial um, or read the tutorial. And also Icon Changer if you want to change your icons. And also Floating Notifications. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, I have a full tutorial guide also on that, so I'm not going to go into it. And also Custom Framework Installer. Make sure you hit Install Update once. And also uh, go to modules and enable these two things if you want to use them. Uh, basically, Exposed App Settings allows you to run your apps in tablet, phone, custom DPI mode, uh, make your fonts bigger, smaller, keep your screen on, um, you know, all that good stuff. And also NCB1 is a custom notification background. You can change the notification background um, to whatever you want. So you can go here. You'll have to actually enable it and then reboot. Um, Actually, I'm getting a lot of force closes, but I don't know if that's been fixed. The last previous was, uh, version was doing that, and uh, if you can get it to work, don't forget to leave in the comments section and educate me. 
Um, you can also go to settings and access Jedi ROM tricks menus there. And also you get fast dormancy, GPS quick fix. If you're having trouble with GPS, try the GPS quick fix first. And also Cedar, if you leave this on, supposedly it gives you less lag. Uh, but this ROM is so fast, like I'm showing you here, you'll not really have lag, you know, never. Um, so very nice ROM. It is available for AT&T T-Mobile, all the Canadian variants, you can install it. Also Verizon and also GTN 7105. Uh, I'm not going to show you the Aroma installer because it's pretty simple, uh, straightforward. Um, just do not install on Sprint or GTN 7100, even though there's options for it in Aroma installer. That's for developers only. You might break your phone. So don't install on Sprint or GTN 7100. Uh, everybody else should be safe. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. I love it. It is so fast, faster than ever. And of course, don't forget to use the Trickster mod if you want to get it even faster. I don't think this ROM needs overclocking, but if you feel if it does, um, you can go ahead and go to CPU control here, set it to 1.8 gigahertz, uh, set frequency lock on, uh, hit that button, that will apply it. And also you can, you know, overclock your GPU also. I do recommend about 733 for playing games and whatnot, that might make it faster. Apply, and boom, your phone's even now faster. It is so fast and I, I love it. Anyway, check it out for this week's Round of the Week. You're going to love it if you haven't tried this. And if you're on previous version, this is going to be faster than ever. And nice drop-down menus for the Deviant Jedi theme. Um, and also, there's a bunch of different themes. And you can rerun the Aroma Installer without wipe uh, to change out theme, you know, without, you know, reinstalling the whole ROM. Well, it will reinstall the whole ROM, uh, but you can keep all your settings, apps, and change the theme. Anyway, that was a quick overview of the latest Jedi X17. Highly recommend it. Don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM, PTMR3. Also, follow him on Twitter.com slash PTMR3. If you want to ask him questions, please don't bother him with dumb questions. Uh, but, yes, ask him cool questions or any cool suggestions you want to ask him. And, as always, if you have a note, too, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay hoi on Android.